Hello YouTube, I just got a MTH Rail King uh, Spongebob 4 cylindrical hopper car. It's a horse Rail King, I didn't just say that. Just a little review of the box. Um, you know, it's just general packaging, a cardboard, and a warranty. And I already put it on the track, I got the train ready to go. As you can tell, this is what it looks like. Spring trucks. Looks like over here. And of course, I got the rest of the Bikini Bomb Express and the, uh, get right down here. The actual set, um, the box for the set. Now, one thing I was gonna say real quick this popped in my mind, that's why I wanted to do a sort of long review on it, was that, um, thinking about it now. MTH and Lionel, because as you can see on this layout, I know it's a mess. I got two engines on the same track and all the cars everywhere. But I feel that MTH does try to become more realistic with their engines. They do have a few good fancy ones, but they don't have really the eye-catching ones. And I feel that Lionel's, maybe just because they got the rights to them first, it leans more towards the idea of being fantasy. And well, I mean fantasy, I mean something that catches your eye. It's that... It's the one we all know, like, um, Lionel, Polar Express, Hogwarts Express, Thomas, all the Thomas trains, the Phantom, those are the ones that we all just sort of think of off the top of our head, but mostly the first three. Um, of course, in this lab, you see most of this MTH, and it's all realistic, save for the Rio Grande locomotive, B unit, boxcar. And when I think of MTH fantasy, Two things come to mind real quick. It's either the SpongeBob train or the Coors Light Silver Bullet. Um, I do know that MTH does make several other fancy trains. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is another that comes to mind for Christmas. And a lot of them are Christmas-based. And every now and then they come out with a nice little Halloween one. Or Transylvania Express. That's another one for Lionel. But as you can see, I, I can think of a lot of Lionel fantasies. And I feel it's what they lean more towards. Even with Lion Chief. Because Lion Chief, I think, is a big one because it's a appeal to younger kids. And I think that really shows, but then it's like you take MTH's Proto Sound, and Proto Sound's more realistic. And yes, they do use it on some of their fantasy Christmas trains, but it just feel like it was something that was leaned towards more, you know, wasn't real fantasy because how do I put this another way? It's like the Polar Express line now. The Polar Express is, of course, the Berkshire and the passenger cars from the movie. Simple as that. However, Lionel pretty much figured out we can release a streamline set, a freight set, all these different add-on cars that make the train look more like a realistic passenger train that wasn't even in the movies. Um, and they can release, there's like water towers and stuff. There's everything for the Polar Express. And most of it wasn't even in the movie. It pretty much, if you put Polar Express on it, it'll sell. And that's why I wonder why MTH never really pushed the Bikini Bomb Express so much because it's SpongeBob. And it's like, Polar Express, you know Spongebob, a lot of people do, and if and it's almost the same situation because I think there was one episode of Spongebob where there was a train like really directly involved, but this isn't that train. It's one of those things where you can just stick Spongebob on whatever and it'll sell because it's Spongebob, like the Polar Express, or you could even do, uh, Lionel could even do the same thing with uh, Thomas and Friends or the uh, Hogwarts Express. It's one, you could stick almost that logo on a lot of things, if not almost anything, and it'll sell just because it's that. I'm thinking about now, they also had a Polar Express trolley line now. Yeah, like, streamline set, the standard set, the legacy, freight set, you, trolley, yeah, you get the idea. They had a lot, because they could, they could stick on anything, and I'm not, like, going off on MTH, it's just that I'd love to see a lot more Lionel stuff, because when I was looking through their website, finding this car, they had a lot more stuff. They had a water tower, they had several more freight cars, they even had a whole other locomotive. It was an 040 for their old Rugged Rails system. And Rugged Rails, you know, that's like 2000, 2004, something like that, because that's around the time this set came out. So, basically, sorry, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it was an old set, and this is all relatively old compared to that time, but when you think about it, like I just said, it's one of those things you can keep using and using. You always appear to the younger kids. And this set doesn't have proto sound or anything. You press the whistle and it plays the theme from the caboose. That's it. And it has a little smoke unit. And the engine's loud. It's not like a quiet engine. You, it's very loud. You can hear it. 
Pow. Pretty strong engine, too. Uh, yeah, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. It's a simple set, but at the same time, you know, just you can stick SpongeBob on whatever and it'll sell. So I was just wondering if MTH would ever try pushing this idea more if they still have the rights to it. And, you know, hopefully see more SpongeBob sets in the future because I know I love I love having SpongeBob layout. Yeah, it's great having the realistic trains like the Streamline Rio Grande or the Blue Comet, but then you have a little SpongeBob freight set or Polar Express next to it, and then it's just perfect because it looks fake, and that's the best part about having a Christmas set too. Don't get me wrong, I want to have a realistic set at some point, but you know, it's always nice to have a little fantasy with your layout. But I guess I should stop talking and jabbing on and talking, you know going off and off and off and on and on. I'll let you see the engine run with the new hopper car and that'll be it. So, reverse. Or, no, neutral. Oh, and it gets up and going. Like I said, a simple set and a simple oval. Uh, another layout's messy right now, I'm still working on it. But yeah, and it's nice and it works. Here, I'll turn on the smoke down for the engine. Because I'm not going to bother running the rear ground with a blue comet today. But, and I say I'm not going to bother running them today because um, the Bikini Bomb Express is honestly actually going to be on a layout of its own soon. And you're probably wondering what I mean by that. And what I mean is that the Bikini Bomb Express is going to be on a layout of its own. You'll probably see more of it, hopefully. But it won't be in this room. It'll be somewhere else. <laughs> Not saying where, just saying it'll have its own little thing going. Hopefully, get it. I'm planning on putting this one up and around the tree, is what I mean. And, I don't know. Maybe try making it nautical. See if I can find some SpongeBob toys and I'll add them. SpongeBob toys like that. Yeah, that's perfect. I should have had that in the video. Well, at least you got to see it now. The smoke unit isn't as um, powerful as it is in the Blue Comet, but that's just because it's not. It's not, you know, loco sound. This is just all standard, simple, and conventional. Oh, I can see the smoke pretty fine. I don't know if you guys can. Let's see. Just slightly. I can definitely smell the smoke. 